This is X Pen CEO He Xiaopeng experiencing Tesla's FSD in California, which was claimed to be the best ADAS out there and cost $8,000. But you know what? The car we are looking at today can do what FSD does, but only costs around twice as much as the FSD alone. Mona, Mona, see the world upside down. Tell me why. Tell me This is the Xpeng Mona M03. The name says it all. Mona isn't a new brand under Xpeng like Envo is to Neo. It's a new series of products priced under $25,000. And there will be three more in the next three years. So let's see how they did with the first one. I'm Harris, you're watching my AV. Despite being cheaper, the car doesn't look cheap, right? And there are roughly three reasons. First, the proportions. The car is just under 4.8 meters long, less than 1.9 meters wide, and has a wheelbase slightly over 2.8 meters. It's not a big car, but it's not small either, striking a good balance between interior space, body size, and agility. Most importantly, it stands at 1.45 meters tall, a signature feature of x which is already hard for EV, let alone a family-oriented car. Second, the panels. The front end is very low, with a steeply angled windshield at 63.4 degrees. Combined with the bold hood line and overall shape, the front looks aggressive. On the rear, however, the aggressiveness is tuned down with smooth curves for a more relaxed appearance. By the way, it's rare to see such a shape on a family saloon. From certain angles, it resembles the Lexus SC430, a convertible GT. This unusual proportion combined with a relatively long rear overhang and a stance similar to a rear-wheel drive car gives the vehicle a sporty, coupe-like style. Third, the tires. Although it uses similar Michelin E Primacy tires as the base model of Neo ET5, which are designed for efficiency rather than performance, the specs are quite aggressive, which are typically found on smaller sports cars. Additionally, the tire shoulder also look quite sporty. Next, let's look at some interesting details. First, the front and rear lights are highly coordinated, called as the O10 shape. Huh? Each light contains over 300 LEDs, providing a refined lighting effect, which is quite rare at this price range. What's also rare is active grille system, which allegedly reduces coefficient drag by 0.023 and increases range by 15.6 km, balancing aerodynamics and thermal management. But sadly, it doesn't have a heat pump, which could compromise range in winter. A common issue with many electric saloons is that they have a sleek fastback look but refuse to use a liftback. However, the M03 is different. Despite looking like a 3-box car, it's actually a liftback, offering a boot volume of 621 liters, which is quite impressive. Unfortunately, due to confidentiality, we can't show it to you yet. Besides the active front grille, the car features many aerodynamic designs. The most noticeable is a small wing on the D-pillar, which helps manage rear turbulence and reduce the vacuum area, lowering the drag coefficient. To make a flattering comparison, it's like the small air intakes that pop up on the Lamborghini Merge Lago. All these designs show a keen focus on aerodynamics. In fact, the Mona M03 achieves a drag coefficient of just 0.194 at 160 kph, which is the lowest in the world, even with these kind of wheels. Interestingly, x engineers told me that AI has played a big role in the design process. It reviewed the numerous drafts and identified one that balanced exterior design, interior space, and aerodynamics. For consumers, AI might not be a game changer when using a car, other than a small avatar on the screen, but for engineers and car makers, it has become an essential tool. This is why this car is named the Mona, which stands for Made of New AI. Plus, He Xiaopeng said that 2025 will see the ChatGPT moment for AI-aided fully autonomous driving, suggesting that they are cooking something really big, and it might be a game changer for the industry. 
For modest price, you get a car with good engineering, top tier ADAS, and a decent interior, which will be in our next video. Now you might be thinking that all this sounds too good to be true. There's gotta be a catch. And you're right. Despite having a sporty appearance, it's only a front-wheel drive with MacPherson strut in the front and torsion bin in the back. So it has absolutely nothing to do with sportiness. It's only meant to be a simple family car with X-Pone signature technology, period.